Greetings, programs! It is I, the CPU001, and welcome back to another episode from the Kingdoms of Amalar Reckoning. Uh, do you remember a couple of episodes ago when I said I was going to progress the main plot and then got drastically uh, distracted by everything? Oh, like that. Run! Run away from the Everfly Chickens! I'm going to... I'm definitely going to progress the plot today, I promise. <laughs> no, seriously, I am definitely progressing the main plot now. I am going to get over here. And we're going to try... Oh, for goodness sake. Come here! Get out of my face! And you... Oh, get out. Yes, yes, you're just going to distract. Yes, you will. You'll just distract. Oh, my goodness. Get away! Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. Back, foul beastie. Right, okay. Uh, right, let's try again, shall we? Right, progressing the main plot. And if I bring up my quest log, it's this one here. Old friends and new foes. Meditate in the sheed, which is exactly where I am. And exactly what I'm about to go and do. Uh, if we remember correctly, we spoke to that tree. Ooh, pretty. We spoke to that tree, and he told us to come here. This is Yis. Uh, a very important city for... Or a very important place for the elves. Ooh. The Gardens of Isa. Let us have a look at this place. This should be good. I'm hoping this is going to be pretty. This place should be pretty. Let's see. Log loading screen. Aha! Ooh. Cutscene of prettiness. Ah! Copyright music! Talk, 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 talk. Talk really loudly. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> shouldn't do that, <laughs> but I really need to talk over this music because I'm probably going to get into enough trouble anyway. Oh, uh, ooh, let's have a look at the local map. Let's have a look at. Oh, we've got a lot to discover. Okay, never mind. Let's see what we can find in this place. Oh, hello, hello. Ah! Welcome to the gardens of Isa. Home of the Summer Court, and the warm heart of the Feylands. It is a rare occasion for us to welcome a child of dust into Isa, but it is equally rare that Nirolam chooses a champion. Pleased to meet you. I am Chancellor to the High King. I pray you enjoy your hospitality. Better believe it. Uh, let's ask about the King. High King Tetarian is Lord of the Summer Fey. The font of all our wisdom, and first amongst the immortals. And since Gadflo tragically murdered the High King of the Winter Court, Tetarian is the greatest and last true leader left of our kind. Hmm. Okay. Well, nothing's going to happen to him, is it? <laughs> all are welcome Hello, in the Understyle. Your coin doesn't feel the desire to explore, but only some areas I are forbidden don't to you. Trust you, Dustlings. Didn't think so. Do I have to follow you? What does my quest log say? Enter the High King's Court. Okay. Uh, right, okay. There's the High King's Court. Let's go have a wander. This place looks pretty. This place is pretty big. Let's go have a look around. Whoa, so much water. Wow. Ooh, what's this? Do you surrender to the authority's order and claim his mission? Matharu is the path in the darkness, the cry in the night. Ooh, what goes on here? Ah, <laughs> oh, it's the shrines. Oh, wow. Okay. How do you know to believe? 
There is but one true pattern, one design. It is the authorities. Everything is his. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. High religious. Yes. Okay, that. The authority. Ha! Huh. That sounds familiar! Uh, any uh, any dark material readers out there? Yes, you know what I'm talking about. Ooh. Okay, what's this? Boxes! Watch no. your back. No. Maybe that's the wrong answer. Okay, so we've got some... Uh, trade... It's got some shops in there. Cool. The quest here. What do you do? I hope you're here about the job. Demand is higher than ever. I'm just too busy to deal with anything else. What are you doing? Making a fortune is what? These visitors come with obscene amounts of gold or treasure. They don't mind parting with it. My plan was brilliant. I created a blade. Fayblade, of course, that makes them authentic, something all of them had to have. That's all they care about anyway. Fay souvenirs. I called it the Honor brand. Truth be told, it's dull as a stick, but it's easy to make. Listen, if you can find the parts and make them, I'll pay good money. Oh, no. Your loss, my friend. There's a fortune to be made in this city. <laughs> no, I will not do that, because my... Uh... My trade skilling abilities are terrible. I don't know what the Fae do in the Understyle. <laughs> no, you don't. I don't think you're supposed to know. You're outsiders. You're not exactly welcome in there, are you? No. Where am I going? Where the... the trells? The, tr the trellis. Sorry. <laughs> the trellis. What is this place? Sorry. Den of Night. Ooh. That sounds fancy. And probably dangerous. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dungeon. Of course it's dangerous. Go around the back here. Where there are lots and lots of creepy voices. Yeah, that. Oh, that's, that's weird. All these are voices. Oh, creepy voices, creepy. Good day. Um. This guy looks lost. Peacocks, all of them. This guy looks lost. Yoo -hoo. Oh, excellent. Another... Oh, a mortal. I don't think I could... Oh, why, you're the ruler of the House of Ballads. How extraordinary. You wouldn't be interested in aiding a mere squire, would you? It is well beyond your station to do so, but... Well, I... I face quite the predicament. Now listen. My role is with the Hall of Appointments, to prepare visiting ambassadors and dignitaries to meet with the Court of Summer. Right now there are four terrible, uh, <coughs> regal lords and ladies that wish <laughs> to see High King Tatarian. But they are a fickle lot, and require extra, um, handling. Ah. They must enter the font in a procession. But each has his or her own preferences, and I can't afford to offend any of them. Okay, I see where this is going. <laughs> Wonderful. That's one less aggravation that demands my concern. Thank you, mortal. The dignitaries have been seen about the gardens, enjoying its many splendors. I will remain here and await your advice. Oh, it's a memory quest. Okay, I will... Goodbye, Your Grace. I will do that when I feel like it. <laughs> See all the little rings for each one as they... Uh... Yeah, okay. I will do that one when I feel like it. I'm going to see the king. Because today is a plot-progressing mission. And no one's going to stop me. Ooh, there's a face. There's a face in those trees. That's creepy. The font. Ooh. Okie dokie. Ooh. Ooh, this place is pretty. More pretty. So much pretty. That is a giant flower. 
Oh, there's a giant flower. Let us... <laughs> let us continue. What is it? Nothing. Nothing important. Court of Summer. High Ooh. King Tatarian is waiting for you. Please place the Codex before him, and he will continue. Okay. His immortal majesty, Tatarian, will see you now. Gravy. Oh, good. Okay, this should be good. Conceived in chaos, birthed in stolen magic, torn from fate, child of two fathers, treacheries in treacheries, winter is broken. Puppet king upon his throne, drinking flattery and lies. The power that grows in him is not his own. <laughs> in the east it did begin, as it will end. As it will end. From behind the veil she screams. Madness and rage. Madness and rage. We realize this may be confusing for you. Fate, like the Fae, cannot be changed. But the Tuatha are Fae who have become something new. And you are a mortal who is free from Fate's weave. Gadflow claims that the Tuatha are the work of his new god. If the Tuatha are the creations of a god, what does that make you? That was fun. Uh, what fate do you fear? The time of the Fae is passing. Our land and our souls are diminishing. Few Fae even realize that the great cycle has shifted. Gadflow's war means the death of us all, Fae and mortal alike. It is written in the weave that we shall all pass from this world together. It is too late for us, but not for you. That is the fate which I look to you to change. Ooh. The power of a god in the brash hands of a mortal. This is why Nerolim fears what you might become. This age has seen much change. Change we once thought was impossible. We were wrong. You are intertwined with the power in the East. There can be no doubt of that. Your energy reaches back to Alabastra. We do not know what will happen when you travel there, but we know that the power behind Gadflow is your ultimate goal. His god holds your answer and the fate of this world. Ooh. Well, like I have a choice. I thank you. And perhaps you can help change our world's fate as well. I have seen those who were destined to be heroes, for whom great deeds came naturally. They come, they act, and they pass on as written. You do great things not because you must, but because you choose to. That is by far a far truer greatness. You can't make me fight. <laughs> that would completely contradict what I've just said. <laughs> 
Admirable. But strength of will cannot see you through this alone. You may be unbound by fate, but you are not free from death. Speak with your allies. Only with their aid can you hope to overcome the forces that stand against you. Boom. Through your blank slate, able to choose your own destiny as witnessed and proclaimed by the High King Tyrion himself. Cool. Okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? Right. I shall move on. What do I do now? Uh, the Great General. Ah, I'm looking for Mishir. I said I would need to need allies to fight the Tuatha and confront the power in Alabastera. I may not know her motives, but Aaron Shear is definitely an ally. Perhaps she can help. And I was going to say, there's a, there's a new quest here as well. The An old friend, um, Agarth. Yeah, go go see Agarth. Go see Erelin. Uh, okay. Right, let's find... Oh, they're both here. What a coincidence. Right, okay, let's see what you have to say first. Who would have thought you were so interesting? Death seems to have worked out very well for you. Agarth's looking for escape. Neuralim's looking for a savior, and Tatarian is looking for a champion, and somehow, you're giving everyone what they want. I'm impressed. Hmm. You're right. This won't be easy. The Tuatha have our forces under siege at Mel Senshir, and their power has only grown over the years. You'll need more help than just me and that old fate weaver. You'll need an army. Ooh. How do we get to Gadflow? A few years ago, one warrior could have slipped past unnoticed. But stealth is no longer an option. Not even for me. But there is hope. In the plains of Erethel, there waits a player who has been away from this game for far too long. It is time to contact General Talera. Meet me in the village of Emer, and I will tell you everything. Cool. Okay. That's her Beyond branch. Way. And what do you have to say, old man? I couldn't make out half of what the king was saying, but it sounds like you've got your work cut out for you. Good thing you won't be facing it alone. In fact, I think I've got a lead on finding an old friend of ours. And who would that be? Old Felmerus Hughes, of course. If anybody huh? can help, it's bound to be the gnome who brought you back to life. He's dead. I've been asking around and I was able Maybe to not. make contact with his superior. He thinks he might be able to help find Hughes. Ah, okay. Who is Hughes's superior? All gnome scholars have a Templar who sponsors their research. And apparently Hughes's sponsor, Templar Octien, is desperate to find him. Go southwest to the Hollowlands and Detir. Octien will be waiting there to discuss how you might reach Hughes. Ah, fair enough. Okay. We have two paths, and I have an old friend and the great general. Okay, so um, Ellen Shear said to go to a mare, and where is a mare? A mare is a very long way over there. <laughs> okay, there is a mare, and where did Agarth say to go? Uh, that is to meet with Temple with Templar o Octonaire, and he is located all the way down there. <laughs> right, okay. Looks like I've got a bit of travelling to do. I will be doing that in the next episodes. I'm going to wrap this one up here, folks. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you all again in the next one. This is the CPU001 signing out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.